Hello and welcome back as I journal in my composition notebook. I am showing you some paint that I am getting ready to use on this spread in the composition notebook. These are two colors that I have that are matte acrylic paints. They're a very inexpensive paint. They're Blick brand and that color is blue violet. I believe it's a light blue violet. I think it's a pretty kind of a periwinkle color. And the other paint is a celadon, which is just a kind of a khaki green, sort of has a green tint to it. They're very random colors that I picked. I thought they were soothing. They go well together. And to be honest, I wasn't really sure what I was going to do when I started this spread. I just picked the paint and started slathering it on. <laughs> and sometimes that's the best way to start an art journal page is not really having a plan. These paints are really good for art journaling because they're matte. They don't stick together the pages. Sometimes with acrylic paint, when you use a lot of paint like I'm doing here, covering the whole page, even when it's dry, it is still a little bit sticky. And so the pages sometimes will stick together. And this paint I find does not do that. I will link these paints for you in the video description through my Blick affiliate if you're interested. They're very reasonable. I learned about these from Alyssa Burke, who is a great artist and art journaler. I've taken several of her classes, so check her out. Once I got this paint on here and it dried, I, in my mind, decided that I was going to do some grid journaling, which is a technique that I've done several times in past composition notebook journals. It is a class that I took through Kelly Wynn Studios. And you'll see here, I'm going to set up my grid using my Uniball Air pen, which I absolutely love. And that is a little piece of two inch cardboard that I cut whenever I started doing grid journaling. I'm going to speed this up and I'm just eyeballing this. I did not measure, just sort of laid it out and I knew that I could fit 12 of these grids on the spread. So I just quickly did that and then we'll start doing some collage work. The thing that I love about doing this grid journaling like this is that it's not taking up a lot of real estate. So it's really easy to just play, experiment. And what I like to do is get some different elements down and I'm not going to fill all of these grids with everything that I'm using. But you'll see me throughout this video as I kind of try on different things in these grids. And I not only think about the composition of each individual grid, I like to make the overall spread look cohesive and like it makes sense. So I, I try not to put too much of one thing in each grid or on each side. I like to kind of spread it out. But I'm going to stop talking and just let this video play. As you watch me put this together using many different mixed media elements.
After working with some inks, some stencils, more collage, my Stabilo all, I am going to call this done. I love how low stakes these little grid journals are. They are fun and can be a great way to come up with larger pieces, larger compositions. So thank you so much again for watching. And let me know if you have any questions or comments.